who was Jesus? Is he a historical character? Who wrote the Gospels? Why are they written in Greek? Why did they have a pro-Roman perspective? Why was the religion headquartered in Rome? Joseph Atwell is one of a number of scholars today from all around the world who are questioning the historic facts behind these ancient mysteries. Actually, according to my study of the ancient texts, the second coming of the Christ has already occurred. And the penny drop, the penny drop that Jesus, as a human being, never existed. The presentation of the Jesus character, it's somewhat of a composite of many messianic leaders of the time. Well, let's just go back to the drawing board and uh, we'll leave aside all of the assumptions of Christian history and let's just look at the text afresh and consider every possibility. Let's, uh, let's open the whole game up. Can you think that Christianity is really paganism by a different name? And uh, now it feels completely obvious. Some of us are saying that this was a sun god turned into a Jewish man. In all of this, we're dealing with literature. We're not dealing with history. So the answer is no, there is no um, history to this character of Jesus. It's entirely a literary creation. Christianity was invented by a little known family of Roman Caesars, the Flavians. And they left us documents to prove it. Studying this ancient era can give us the perspective needed for coming up with solutions to today's problems and for helping create the better world that we envision.